Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, me and Kaylee are gonna be sharing our favorite eight things to do in Fernie, BC. Fernie is located in Southeast British Columbia in the Lizard Mountain Range and along the Powder Highway. It is probably our favorite ski destination in Canada and every time we go it just gets better and better honestly. There is so much to do. This town is so charming. Banff and Whistler often steal the spotlight when it comes to winter destinations in Canada but Fernie just has this different small oh, yeah. town vibe but it's still got all the great amenities and activities. For those of you who don't know us, I'm David. I'm Kaylee. And we run a travel and adventure vlog called Made to Explore. We are passionate about activities that get you outside and off the beaten path. We've got a ton of van life, adventure travel, and hiking. So if you are into that, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel. We would love to have you around for our next video. Make sure to stick around until the end of this video because we are going to be sharing our favorite places to dine in Fernie. And that is a good list. You do not want to miss it. We have also just published a blog post on Fernie that goes into a lot of detail and gives different links to businesses and stuff like that. So if mm -hmm. you want to check that out, we will link it in the description below. For every activity that we are going to mention in this list, you can rent the gear from Gear Hub in Fernie. They have got a few different locations. They've got one in town and one on the hill. And the staff there is very knowledgeable about not only the activities, but all the trails in the area. So whether you're just getting into it or you're a seasoned pro, these guys will be able to point you in the right direction. Okay, these are in no particular order, but number one on the list is skiing at Fernie Alpine Resort. <laughs> One of our top ski resorts in Canada. Mm -hmm. We would definitely recommend checking out if you ski or snowboard. You can rent your gear at Gear Hub <laughs> if needed. And um, Fernie is known for its powder. This resort is also massive. It is up there with Sunshine and Lake Louise, and it has five famous bowls that you can check out. We really love this ski resort because it is never that busy. Everybody mm -hmm. is always so friendly and just so pumped to be outside. Like yep. it's just such an inclusive, welcoming, fun atmosphere all the time. The town of Fernie is only 10 minutes from the ski hill so that's also a really cool dynamic too because you kind of have the ski village vibe extended from the hill into town. Next up on the list is fat biking. <music> Kaylee and I just purchased some electric folding fat bikes for the van and we have just gotten into it but it is so much fun and this is one of the activities that we are so excited to try in Fernie. We rented fat bikes from Gear Hub explored the town and biked some trails in the montane area. There are so many trails around Fernie because they do a ton of mountain biking in the summer, but winter time is so good. Yeah, one thing that's new to us because we're fairly new to fat biking, but awesome in Fernie is that they actually have specific trails that are groomed for fat biking, which is really mm -hmm. nice. You don't have to worry about like being on the side of a cross country ski trail and just staying out of the way. You just have your own trail. So the Montane region is really good. It's a little bit more intermediate, I would say. You can go up to an Alpine hut though, which is cool. Mm -hmm. Or if you're a beginner, you can bike on a beautiful path beside the Elk River and over to Maiden Lake. Number three on the list is cross country skiing. While Vernie is famous for its downhill, you do not want to miss the cross country scene here. It mm -hmm. is pretty incredible. As we said, they are known for their snow. So. We went to the Elk Valley Nordic Center, which is pretty close to the ski hill. Yeah. It's absolutely beautiful. It's yeah. so pretty. If you get a chance, go do the Cedar Loop. It's got really good mountain views from up there, but honestly, there's 10 kilometers of trails there that are groomed and ready to roll. You can also cross country ski at the golf course at the ski hill. They have some groomed trails mm -hmm. and also in that montane region that we mentioned earlier. Next on the list for winter activities in Fernie is snowshoeing or going for a winter hike with crampons. There are a ton of trails around Fernie. One of the ones that me and Kaylee really loved was the Gorby Trail in Mount Fernie Provincial Park. This was fairly easy. The scenery was beautiful and it's easy to access as well just outside of town. If you want to go for a hike, me and Kaylee have done this hike a few times when we've gone to Fernie in the summertime and the winter, and it is called Fairy Creek Falls. Both of these trails are on the All Trails app, so if you want to find out more information, download the app. We'd highly recommend it. We use it all the time. After a day of activities, you are definitely going to want to go check out the Ice Bar at Lizard Creek Lodge. <laughs> 
Fun fact, David and I actually got married there a few summers ago. It's beautiful. It's right on the hill. The ice bar is a giant freezer that you can walk inside and they've sculpted ice all around the walls and the bar is made of ice, the shelves are made of ice, and there are dozens of types of vodkas that you can taste inside here. Yeah, so basically the idea of this is they give you a shot glass made of ice and when you're in temperatures this cold... Minus 13 to be exact. And they give you a park. When you're in temperatures this cold and you're drinking this vodka very chilled out of the ice glass, it takes kind of the kick away and you can really taste the flavors. Mm -hmm. I personally am a baby when it comes to booze and I thought it was great. Make sure to try the salted caramel. You can It just tastes like a caramel treat. If you're not into hard alcohol, the Fernie Brewing Company is also delicious. Highly recommend them. Now you can't go to Fernie without booking a cozy getaway. Recently, Kaylee and I stayed at the Elk View Lodge, which was new to us. We never stayed there before, but it was stunning. They have views of the ski hill and the owners were really nice. She actually cooked us. Yeah, muffins. Muffins for everyone. <laughs> she cooked us muffins to bring on our adventures, which was really sweet. Every room has their own private ensuite, and then there's also a public kitchen and a sauna. The property is located just outside of town, which makes it a little quieter, and it's located on 10 acres of land. Yeah, it's very private, secluded, really nice way to kind of have a cozy getaway. Mm -hmm. And there's trails that leave right from the base of the property, which is yeah. kind of cool. The montane area is just right behind there, so you can actually hike or bike or snowshoe right from the lodge. Number seven on the list of the best things to do in Fernie is to go check out downtown. Some people actually get confused. They think that the highway is the downtown area yeah. in Fernie, and it's actually not at all. So you want to venture into the town and find Second Avenue. That is where the majority of these really awesome shops. There's mm -hmm. a lot of restaurants there, um, and it's just a really cool place to check out. They have got a lot of art. They actually have something called the Fernie Art Walk, which we will link below because it goes between different galleries, murals, sculptures, different things like that. And they also have something called the Heritage Walking Tour that you can do on your own as well. So both of these you can find online or you can get a pamphlet for. And they just take you to different stops um, downtown Fernie and show off different aspects of this community. It's actually really cool. Yeah. There's also an app that you can download that will guide you around the town. Yeah. to these spots as well. Yeah, it's called the Iconic Fernie app and I believe they have six different walking tours available. And that is all free, which is really neat. A few of our favorite shops to check out are the Ghost Rider Trading Co, the Fernie Arts Co-op, and number three, Boutique. All right, it's time to talk about our favorite places to dine in Fernie. is honestly one of our favorite parts about Fernie. We've been going there for, I've been going there for like 20 years now and we've ate at so many places, but this past time we got to try out a couple new local favorites. One of the restaurants that we got to try out for the first time on this trip is called the Loaf Italian Restaurant. And guys, we went back here two times. Oh my gosh, yeah. The pizza was unreal. We're not gonna get into too much detail about the food, but be sure to check it out. You definitely want to check it out. Mm -hmm. One of the other places we went to is called Chilangos. It is an authentic Mexican restaurant. We'd never been there and it was so good. Yeah, it's kind of a little bit of a hidden gem in Fernie, mm -hmm. but the food was fantastic and the head chef and all the staff were really sweet too. Yes. If you are looking for coffee and breakfast or baking to go, make sure to mm -hmm. check out Miner's Mud Food Truck. They are located just on the west side of Fernie, and it's a really good stop if you're going from town to the ski hill or the Nordic Center. The owner and operator there is actually from Nova Scotia, and she's brought a little piece of Nova Scotia to Fernie mm -hmm. with her. She puts um, her family's maple syrup in the coffee, if you want. They also have flavors and stuff like that. Of course. And she also has Nova Scotian oat cakes, and it's just, Everything there is so good. Yeah, perfect way to start your day. If you're looking for a cafe where you want to sit down and relax and enjoy the morning, Freshies Cafe is a delicious spot to do so. They have some fantastic coffees, some baking, some breakfast stuff. Yeah, and they also oh, have good. a tea sommelier, which I didn't mm -hmm. know was a thing. If you are a fan of Japanese food, Yamagoya is absolutely delicious. We've been going there every time we go to Fernie. If you are looking for a good lunch to go, check out Lunchbox. They serve a bunch of healthy salads, wraps, smoothies, different things like that. You can take them on a picnic. And lastly, but not least, you have to check out the Bean Pod. They have amazing chocolate. They make it in the shop. We sometimes just stop in Fernie 
to go to the beef pub. Yeah. Is that good? So yeah. make sure to check it out. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like it, subscribe to the channel, and have an amazing trip to Fernie. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you next week.